Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy 8. In this video, we're going to pick up right from the last video of avatar, tile, sprite, and item by creating an example called visiting the zoo. To create this example, we're going to cover two more things. That is changing the game's title and working with rooms. So as we saw in the previous video, we were moving the avatar around. That is the thing we move and we attempted to move into a tile, but because the tile was a wall, we couldn't move through it. We also interacted with the sprite and saw its dialogue. We did all of that within a room. We divide up whatever we're creating within Bitsy, be it a game or story or something else, in different sections. Each section we call a room. So we are working with the room tool, and in this case, it's called example room, which is the name it's given. So I'm gonna go ahead and change from example room to zoo. And we're going to visit the zoo. I'm going to also change the game's title to Visiting the Zoo. So now we have a title for our game and we have a single room, the zoo. So this zoo contains avatar, tile, sprite, and item as we talked about in the previous video. So let's go ahead and place the avatar kind of up here. And now what I want to do is I want to arrange it such that we can go by various sections in this zoo. And it's just going to be a single room. I'm going to do that using tiles. So we saw in the previous video that we move the avatar around either using WASD or the arrow keys on a keyboard. We can use tiles as we've seen to kind of coordinate or block off certain areas we can move through. So I'm gonna come over here to tile and then I'm going to click right here, right above the avatar currently. And notice it disappeared. Now I'm gonna come down one, two, three, one, two, three, and close off each side here by clicking in. And then I'm gonna click and drag this time. So I'm clicking and dragging, even though you can't see the cursor, I'm drawing them faster. And I'm going to do it one final time down here. And over here, I will take these out to make this a little clearer. Okay. So we know based on our interactions between tiles and avatars that if a tile is a wall, and I'll notice down here, I've got it clicked on wall within tile within the paint tool. I'll go ahead and put a tile up here, that we can't cross that wall. So tile is a wall, and we can't currently pass through it. So I'm gonna go over here to Sprite, and we currently have a cat. So I'm gonna move the cat up here, but that's just a single cat. What if I want multiple animals? But to use multiple animals, we just need to create more sprites. So as we saw in the previous video, we have a single avatar. That's the thing we move around. We can have potentially more tiles, sprites, and items. So avatar is singular, but the rest of them can potentially be plural. So let's create a new sprite. So in the paint tool, we have the name and then a left and right arrow and then a plus symbol. So I'm going to click on this plus symbol right here. And we're going to create a new sprite. So we currently have a cat. What if we create a dog? So we have a dog right here. And I will draw a very rough approximation of kind of what a dog looks like. Kind of like here, maybe right here. Oops, there we go. Connect this. This. And we got kind of a tallish dog. Okay, so we got a dog. So a dog, just like we saw with cat, which was another sprite, can just be placed. So I'm currently selecting sprite under paint tool. I've got dog as the current sprite I'm working with, and I will place dog over here. Now, if we wanted more animals for the zoo, all we would need to do is continue to add more sprites. So to do that, as I just showed under the paint tool, come to sprite, and then we would click this addition right here. Alternatively, if we've already got sprites that we like and we want to create more of them, we can also duplicate them. So this time, I'm gonna come over instead of plus, I'm gonna go one over and click on this right here. This next to the plus is duplicate. And now I have what is, what is temporary called sprite three. 
Now, something interesting about how we call sprites within Bitsy is they have to have unique names. So just for this example, this is now dog2. I'll put dog2 over here. Now, I want to go back to cat because I want to make a duplicate of the original cat. So under the paint tool, I'm under sprite. I'm going to scroll to the left right here, clicking previous drawing until I run into the cat. Come over to duplicate, which again is one more than plus. And now I have a duplicate of cat and I will call this cat2. And place cat2 down here. So now I have cat, cat2, dog, and dog2 within my room. And again, remember, a room is a thing we interact with. So I want to go ahead and play this. So what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and click back to avatar right here, which we can rename if we would like to. And I'm going to move the avatar around. So we now have visiting the zoo, which is the name of our game. We have a room, the zoo, and now I'm going to press any key. And I'm going to move around with the arrow keys on my keyboard. And I can move around in my zoo. Notice I can't leave the zoo because the tiles are currently walls. Notice I also can't interact with the animals anymore because the walls are in the way. Now, what if we wanted to interact with animals? Now, we could do that in kind of two different approaches. I will go ahead and stop playing this. In one, what we could do is we could go in and remove that tile that is a wall. Alternatively, we can make a different tile. Remember, avatar is singular, but tile, sprite, and item are potentially plural. As we saw, we, or as we have now seen, that is, we have multiple sprites. So what if we just create multiple tiles? So I'm going to go ahead and take this existing thing, and just like I did for sprite, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And I'm going to call this glass. Now I'm going to change this tile by taking away everything but the right hand side and now I'm going to place it here and here. Oops, go back, sorry, our glass. There we go. And then here and here, and then here and here. And I don't have any creatures up here. Now, for glass tile, I'm going to turn wall off. So just a quick review, under the paint tool, we have tiles. For our block tile, we have wall on. For our glass tile, we have wall off. So if wall's off, we can walk through it. So let's go ahead and play this just to see it in action. So again, we have a name. I changed the name of Bitsy up here for this story or game. We have a single room, a zoo. I am moving an avatar around, which we do using WASD or the arrow keys. So now I can pass through this right here. Come down and pass through potentially to interact with these sprites. But right now, I only have dialogue on one sprite. I've not set the dialogue on others, which is not the focus of this video. So let's review what I've talked about in this video. Based on the last video, we know four main concepts. We know avatar, which is singular, which is the thing we move around using WASD or the arrow keys on a keyboard. We know tile, which we now know in part of this video, we can have multiple tiles. Tiles can either be things we draw or, as we've now seen, walls. And in future videos, we'll play with that idea going back and forth. We can also have sprites, which are things we interact with, potentially. And so, as we saw, we can create new tiles or new sprites, and we can potentially duplicate existing tiles and existing sprites if we want to. And as we've seen, as long as we have that selected within the paint tool, the tile or sprite, we can then place it within the room. What we've also learned now in this video is that a room is something we interact with. It is sections of our story or sections of our game. If we want multiple sections, as we'll talk about in a future video, we'll have multiple rooms and then potentially move the ability to move between them. So, this example, visiting the zoo, we have a single room, we have a single avatar, but we now have two tiles, multiple sprites, but we haven't quite touched items yet. But we've now moved through fairly quickly many of the concepts within Bitsy, working within Bitsy 8.
Thanks for watching.